he's a sort of Jekyll and Hyde character. I expected him to be um, what I'd seen in the, in the press. Uh, as a bit of a clown, part genius, mostly clown. Um, the more I got to know him, the more interesting he, he became. He's really quite a complex character. I think he likes the publicity, as we know. He likes the headlines. And I think once he realised we were fair dinkum, that we are actually interested in what he had to say, um, rather than just the headlines, he gave us more time. So uh, more than we expected, more than uh, Kerry Packer would have given us, for example. No, no one seems to know. It's a private company. And so he does with it, it's my money, I'll do what I like, that sort of attitude. Um, I've seen variously that he's been $750 million up to $69 billion. Somewhere in between, he's certainly a billionaire. All the experts seem to agree that he's a billionaire. He may well be on the way to being the richest man in Australia. He probably won't reach Gina's $30 billion too soon, but he's got so much going in coal and gas in New Guinea and, uh, and, and coal in, in Queensland and iron ore in Western Australia that he's probably heading for $10 bi billion or more. Good question. Um, did I like him? Um, I didn't think I would like him, but the more time we spent with him, the more interesting he was, and I, I did like him. He's, he's hardly innocent, but he's strangely naive. He's a, very much a Queenslander, and I mean that in the best sense, but he's, um, he just has a go, and he, he has childlike love of things. And when he loves something, whether it be a golf course or a, an iron, iron ore mine, he, um, he, he buys it. So he's interesting.